Hello guys, welcome back to another FIA manufacturer's race. This one is at St. Crux and we have ourselves a terribly unreliable raging driver aka a turd in this race and believe it or not he's the fastest guy in the room. It's Mr. Adrian Blue at the front. Let's go on board and see how this one works out for us we get held up here slightly in the first corner and drop back straight away Mr. Test on the ball and there you can see Mr. Adran has threw it away in the first corner all by himself and went into the wall so that's how he has ended up back with us he clearly has a lot of speed this guy he has he has replied or wrote us a few messages from this race in the very next race after this as well. In the FIA he has he has let himself down again and went on a rage. We'll see his rage in this one. And um he, he's letting himself down, he's he's clearly a, a a very fast driver and um he, he did say that he, he apologized if it was um, um, a, a mistaken identity case but then he's, he's went on to send us um like f five or six huge big messages which we really enjoyed reading as good as the harry potter books but um and we've replied to each of them but he's um after apologizing he's basically let us know that he's the type of guy who may well get a revenge lunge months after something's went down he says he can't particularly remember he, he has no memory or recollection of us doing anything dirty on him but he would be very doubtful and then he, he went on um, as I say long big messages you'll be able to see them in the comments of my last live stream I believe, I believe it was about how we enjoy having a drink and being intoxicated and stuff and um, how he wants us to be a scared of him on the track perhaps the message is getting through not to go near him at all or you're getting taken out we did basically try to say, look sir, we'd prefer to get to know you, feel free to hop in the lobby and change your mind about uh, about how you drive, because we'd prefer not to have to worry about you whenever we see you in a room. But this guy wants us to worry. He wants us to have fear, to stay well clear of him. I kind of feel like if he's in a room, from what he has said to us, I feel like he is definitely going to try and take us out so it'll it'll be very difficult to race again against him with the penalties like this as we say mr blue you're more than welcome to join the room and and change your mind about you get that friend request sent and um hopefully another few years we'll be able to laugh and look back at this and i'll give you a, a shit load of abuse about it because it is very very poor driving hopefully you will see that but this race isn't going too bad for us at the moment we're up into the top five and we've got mr shambizi and harry behind us and roadrunner and test right in front of us i've had a few a few good races now with mr shambizi aggressive but fur I believe uh, well apart from when we move but none of us have held, held, held any grudges the same with Mr. Test I've had a very aggressive races with Mr. Mr. Test but he's very very fur he knows when to stop squeezing you and yeah rubbing's racing there's always going to be a bit of rubbing and a bit of bumping here and there getting held up a wee bit having to lift off that's going to allow Mr. Prost to come right on us and I think here we'll lift early and we'll receive a ram to the 
backstage from Mr. Shambizi. Accidental, I'm sure. But it, it's got as a pass. But no doubt, Mr. Test perhaps feels that we've aggressively threw one up the inside, so he should be back at us here. We were expecting him to come back, and again, rubbing his racing. All, all these kind of wee bumps will happen in a race back and forth. And Mr. Harry dropping it out on the grass and we just about avoid him <coughs> on his way back on. This was my first time on, on this track so I did have to learn it but started to really enjoy it especially this here wee, wee section this is a, a lovely wee section I struggled with this corner a little bit and the next right hander after it it was a particularly hard corner to just to start getting the flow of Top six fours at the moment would jump out. Harry still in the slipstream and more behind him. Is there any moves to be had on the way into this corner? No, we're lifting, we're coasting, looking after the tires, saving the fuel, and trying to play the long game. And I'm not too sure where the turd is at the moment. He must be fighting his way through. And I'm sure he's, he's fighting his way through pretty aggressively, no doubt. I was, I, I was trying my best to think of a nice name. I'm going to make up. I, I thought turd was a very reasonable name. And I could, I could have come up with much different words for the turd. But a terribly unreliable, unreliable raging driver seems seems to do the job. Lap four, I do believe this is our pitting laps. There was a hard tire compulsory, I think, in this race, so we still have to we still have to jump on to the hard tires in our second stint. I think Mr. Adrian Blue, the pole sitter, started the race on, on hard tyres, which is maybe what has caught him out in the first turn. But we did know that he started on hards <coughs> just because of when he came in and done his pit stop. I believe it was. It was. A lap or something after we did ours so we knew he had to be on on hard tires as we're getting a bit of a run on mr test here and you'll see here this is a tight we've backed out of it there we haven't had to we haven't wanted to do anything but we do we see an, an opportunity there and we've mistimed that luckily it hasn't held up mr test at all but mr test will no doubt think that was a bit rude of us we are aware of that as, as as soon as it happened and we're expecting mr test to no way allow us to get around this corner ahead of him and as you can see he does indeed he comes out and lets us know puts a squeeze in but very fair a very fair squeeze we were very unlucky harry behind us had been caught out with the slowdown of speed and it was the wee nudge from the back that put us off I don't believe it was Mr. Test. Mr. Test was very, very fair there. He squeezed us just the right amount and let us know that we were wrong. We had squeezed him into the wall accidentally. Apologies for that one, Mr. Test. And he has responded aggressively and let us know that we were wrong, which is all fair play. 
we were we knew that that pass was coming on us as soon as we passed him we were expecting it so fair play to you sir understood and we're jumping into the pits so a wee bit of time lost there as we went to the pits and the crew kitted out in the green and white today looking fantastic look at that perfect every time it's like you're not even watching real people it's like they're animated or something just perfection every time and there we have the third mr blue in front of us so because he's in front of us now and when he pits we do know that he he, he surely had to have started on, on hard tires and we're now on the hard tires we get our nose up the inside here and we are level now we're level here we should have space left for us which isn't left for us we'll have another another quick check at that again i do believe that we, we are indeed we're level we're level there and we'll have a wall on the right hand side of us so there's not really anywhere we can go it, it, it is up to that guy to leave the space there but we'll get away with it and we're still there with mr blue ahead of us and we've certainly not don't appear to have upset mr blue at the moment hopefully hopefully we're driving all all very nice and as i say mr blue himself has told us that he's been known to come back weeks and perhaps months later for revenge lunges but he has also told us that he has no memory of us taking him out or being very dirty on him so i am really struggling to understand why we were caught up in what happens at a later point in this race I'm down the 11th at the moment I'm just starting to get the the feet of these hard tires anyone coming into the pits on this one and there we go Mr. Blue jumps in so he did the longer stint at the start and because he was in front of us when he jumped in it, it, it means in the race when he appears behind us we are fully aware that the guy is on better tyres and faster a faster compound of tyres so let's see if we put up a fight and slow him down or do anything that could possibly upset him and make him upset or annoyed with ourselves. We'll jump outside while we're not right on these guys. Some beautiful views again from this Gran Turismo game. back on board Harry is putting the press on Mr. Test you can see we're off lifting coasting trying to look after the tires not necessarily trying to look after the tires as I'm as I'm trying to learn to look after the tires by lifting and uh, and starting to coast and slowly going onto the brakes and stuff as I'm learning that you can see by sitting behind guys that are braking later you can see it, it's actually it's, it's not slower and it feels way an awful lot easier to drive and hit your apexes everything just feels a lot easier when you're driving like that and a bit of bumping going on we've had the lift off there which has closed another guy right up on their tail 
but we're in the top 10, which is where we want to be. I'm going to jump outside and see if we can see what number is on our car to see what number it was expecting from us. Nothing to be seen yet. Mr. Test, just just a small a small bit of contact agent is out under the grass there again. Just raise them. Aggressive, but very fair. And I believe that's a number 17 on the side of the car. Oh, we're back on board. And as we're trying to get ourselves a good, a good sweep here, they ask what the drive is. What is their drive like? We get ourselves in the slipstream. And again, we know Mr. Test is going to squeeze us as best he can. But still, still fair. He never forces up against the wall. And again, we've got to cut back on him. But there's nowhere for us to go. We're going to have to be lifting off here. Oh, and another on Casapo. If that's the name, Casaspo. But we're still in the slipstream. Although we should. It's back in front of him, although we'll have to leave space and then the slipstream will go back to him. And here we have Mr. Blue showing his face in the background. And as I say, in this race, I did look behind me and I seen that Mr. Blue was coming. And I had the knowledge that he was on pole position. My brain was telling me, let this guy pass as fast as you can don't slow him down because he's going places I wanted to follow him, Mr. Blue I knew Mr. Blue was making his way towards the front he was clearly fast on faster compound of tires and we wanted to help him out as much as we could which you will see right here as we're coming up around this next corner still have not spotted anything that I could have possibly done in this race so far too upset Mr. Blue but we'll see here we spot him and we take ourselves a short shift as soon as we see him we also lift off we let him pass us we do not hold him up at all whatsoever absolutely gentleman behavior from myself as we say we're wanting to follow this guy we know he's on medium tires compared to our hard tires and we also know he was on pole position so he should be making his way to the front and Casapo taking advantage of us taking away their lane there and trying to get the drive done well done sir and I do believe we are coming to the incident so I believe I wish I had some editing skills because this would definitely if Super GT had this race it would be a badass edit I think around about when you see the exit of this corner there's one bump for Mr. Blue another he receives another and about here if we pause the video about here if I could edit like Mr. Super GT edits this would be where he slows down and zooms in on Mr. Blue and says something like he has decided right now he has been bumped for the last time and the John Cena music would kick in. Du, 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 du. What does he decide to do? He's not going to be pushed about any anymore whatsoever and we happen to be the unlucky one at the time to drive up alongside him. Again, we shall jump on board with Mr. Blue here, just in case 
I'll watch the whole section with him. He's not happy there with Mr. Test for some reason. He's flashed his lights. And now he's... He's going to receive another couple of bumps. I, I don't think that was anyone's fault. And now again, he's got squeezed. He's got squeezed for the last time. Du, 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 du. And then there we go. Mr. Unlucky. And bang. He takes us out completely. An absolute 10 out of 10 takeout. And Mr. Test is next in his focus. And he goes for Mr. Test as well. And shows Mr. Test out into the sand. Mr. Blue, I don't know what to say, sir. As I say, feel free to join our lobbies for fun and change your mind about you. Because right now, we do not want to see you in an FIA race. And from the messages that you have sent us, you're making me feel that if I try to pass you, even if it's clean, if I try to pass you, you are going to take me out. Which leaves me in the situation to where I have to try to take you out before you get a chance to take me out. We can start to play that game if you want. It's always fun playing that game also. Although I prefer not to. I prefer, I prefer you to know that I'm a clean racer. We all make mistakes. But um, as I say, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you can have a wee comment below this here one as well. And we'll see how it goes. Well, well hopefully, you never know. In another couple of years, Mr. Blue will hopefully be on my friends list. And we'll be looking back and laughing at this. And I'll be handing out a lot of abuse. Because, oh, that's Harry. What has happened to Harry there? Let's skip that shit back. And find Harry. Oh, Harry. Harry has lost it in this one. May as well just see what's happened at the end. Yes, because our race is over. Our, our car was totally damaged. Oh, and Harry's. Harry was, Harry was going to get a top five there. And there goes Mr. Blue ahead of him as well. And we'll go back to us. We are in 20th. We are in last place. Thanks to Mr. Blue. After being really, really nice to him. I was quite shocked. But, but as I say, if I have taken him out in the past or, or anything like that, I, I, I wish you could tell us when. Because all anything that I do on this game is, is live on stream for at least the last five or six months. So unless he's been, he's been holding the grudge for longer than that, it will be on one of my streams. If I have been dirty to him or we've done something wrong on him, he should be able to find it. Um, he, he did want me to go and look for it, but I think that's a bit ridiculous of you, Mr. Blue. I think if you want... If you, he, he just kind of leaves the question open. He says, really, are you sure you haven't done anything? Perhaps in the past? I have been known to go weeks, sometimes months, before gaining my revenge. So, um, yeah, apologies if, if, if perhaps in a past life I've hurt your feelings or anything like that. And we will see... In our first attempt uh, at, at Blue Moon Bay as well, w Mr. Blue was there. We were, we were very nervous uh, as soon as we as soon as we seen him in the room. He raced us absolutely fine on that day, but again on the last lap, he just lost the plot and decided that he was just going to end a particular guy's race, and he just went flat out straight into the back of someone and luckily he never collected any innocent people so another video catch us next time guys thank you